So for this next double exposure, we're going to take a picture of a cat and integrate him into the forest. And the reason I'm doing this is I posted this on my Instagram and got a huge response of people really enjoying this photo. And I wanted to walk through how I created it because it was really, really easy. It took about five to seven minutes, but yet it gained so many views and likes from you guys. I just had to share how easy it was to create and you could do the same effect too. So I have a picture of a cat and a picture of a forest. Both of these were found on Pexels. So I'm going to bring this picture in of the forest on top, just so I don't have to create a smart object. It's already created for me. And I'm going to bring this in. Press enter. So now that the trees are on top, I'm going to try a few blending modes to see if I can get the effect that I, I like. And light and color has a really good effect. And I already know ahead of time that pin light was the one I ended up going with because I used, notice how it shows the trees through the eyes. And it looks a little strange here, but when I added a gradient map to the images, it looked a lot better. Um, so let's try, we could try lighten for now. So let's do lighten and let's adjust these trees so it's not right in the cat's eyes. Move it up a little bit. I'm going to clean this up, add a layering mask. I'm going to remove selection, so I'm going to paint with black, and I'm going to remove stuff from the eyes, maybe make the brush a little bit smaller, and I can remove items from the eyes. We don't want trees to show up in the eyes quite yet. Just cleaning up the selection, and let's crop this photo. So I'm going to get the crop tool, and we're just going to bring it up a little bit really want to bring, bring focus on the eyes and click OK. So I'm going to do my adjustments panel and I'm going to add a gradient map. I want to make it look like fire in the forest. And so let's make the lighter colors orange, like a bright orange. And let's add a little bit more red to that. Right about there. Click OK. So now the layering mask is applied to both layers. And what that does is it kind of really unifies both images because now they have kind of the same color profile on them and the same effect. So it makes them look a little bit more like they're one image. And that's pretty much it. That was a super duper quick one. Um, we can add the trees into the eyes. Um, I did that using kind of a different blending mode. Um, so if I go back to so I'm going to go ahead and toggle that so you can kind of see what's happening there. So if I go back to the trees, I have the light and blending mode. I went ahead and I used pin light. I'm going to delete my layering mask on the trees so we can start over. So I'm going to delete the layering mask from the trees. And you notice on this one, it kind of brings, notice how the trees are kind of still in the eyes, where in screen, it wasn't. It's kind of light. So let's go down to pin light and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Add a layering mask, paint with black and clean it up. Just going to clean it up. And let's adjust that gradient map. I'm not hundred percent happy with that color. So we can double click, go ahead and get our gradient map changed. Now it might be we need to get three colors going. So we might need a darker, might need to soften this instead of black. What if we used kind of a blue, a dark blue, and that lightens it. Instead of being so dark and black, it kind of lightens it. We can have orange, let's make it brighter. And let's, for a lighter colors, let's make it lighter. So let's do kind of a, a yellow. Let's do a yellow. Let's add a little yellow there. There we go, yellow, like yellow sky. I might need to tone this down just a little bit. Just adjust the sliders. And there's the gradient map. If I were to toggle this off, pin light looks a little bit strange. So that's why the gradient map really helps with that particular blending mode, kind of to unite the photos together. 
This is the original that I did for Instagram. You can see how easy it is. It's just this uh, cat image. We overlaid the forest image, had a little bit of a layering mask to kind of clean up that selection, and then a gradient map on top. So notice how that's before the gradient map and that's after. It just kind of really helps to unify those images.